Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm taking my battery hacking to a whole new level by putting all the pieces together. I'm going to talk about all the different places I've been getting free rechargeable batteries, how I prepare them, how I use them, and now how I take them to another level to help me save money when I'm buying new things. Yes, free rechargeable batteries are all around you. You just need to know where to look. I've done a lot of salvage videos or what's inside videos that shows many of the places that I do get these, including the video you see highlighted here, where I salvaged a lot of these 18650 types of batteries and others from old laptop power packs. If you've not taken one of those apart, I highly recommend you watch my video linked in the description below so you can see how I safely go about doing that, decide what cells are worth keeping, and more importantly, how to test them and prepare them for charging and subsequent use. And almost as good as free rechargeable batteries is a almost free way that you can make to recharge the batteries that you find. I've used this TP4056 charging module that I've used in many previous videos and it is actually less than $1 per chipset in order to put things together and make your own charger. So free batteries and roughly a $1 charger it's pretty awesome for a lot of different projects that you might want to make and use on your own. I've used that charging unit to make a lot of different kinds of projects, portable power packs, basic charging units, even a cell phone charger. And I've got links to the different types of videos that I've done with this in the description below, just in case you'd like to see a little bit more of a detailed walkthrough on how to set them up, especially if you've not done a lot of work with that kind of a module before. The one key thing I'd like to point out is this little chipset you see on the screen right now, which is a step-up converter, which you will need if you're going to make a cell phone charger or anything else that typically charges off a USB port. I picked up the one I'm using in this video for about $5, but it does a very important step. It takes the 3.7 volts coming off your battery and ramps it up to the 5 volts that you need for a USB charging kind of device. So up till recently, I have had an awful lot of fun making the projects that I use these batteries in. But lately, I've discovered a wonderful new opportunity in saving money, and that's when I buy things like the flashlight on this screen. Because if you don't have to pay for the charging unit or the rechargeable batteries, you can actually get products for a much lower price. I actually had done quite a lot of research found this flashlight on Amazon and tried to find a similar chargeable version, but every opportunity I had that found the exact same thing was more than twice the price of this particular product. So I decided why pay for the markup when I can just charge the batteries myself, especially since I'm getting the batteries for free. For me, the key in deciding when I can buy something to use my own batteries in is when the information on the product indicates that it comes with a way to use standard batteries that can be replaced with a rechargeable battery like the 18650 cells that I get from the laptop battery packs. This way, I already know in advance that the batteries I already have will work in the device and that I don't need to do anything special to make them fit into the device. So make sure to tell your family and friends not to throw out those old electronic devices or the power packs from their computers. Give them to you. That way you can take them apart, salvage the batteries that work, and give them a new and useful life that happens to save you some money at the same time. Thank you very much for stopping by Dialed In DIY. I really do appreciate that you took time out of your day to watch my video. If you liked it, were entertained, got something out of it, or were at least just not bored for a moment, please click that thumbs up and let me know. Also, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel while you're here, ring that bell for future notifications. Please feel free to check out my playlists for other videos. And as always, come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.